Welcome back. This is Frederick again from Tech Nordic. Uh, I'm going to address two, you know, questions I get a lot is where to find the newest version of Signal View PC and a little bit how you record and playback. So this is going to be a short video. First of all, go into, you know, www.tech.com and then you go in and there's two ways of searching. You can search over here or there's a download. So I normally use this one. And this is the secret. Signal view that won't do it you need to put pc and then you search for this one when you've done this one first you know of all you're making sure and the reason why you have to add the pc for a usb spectrum analyzer is because very simple there's signal view versions for scope and there's signal view versions for the bigger real-time spectrum analyzers like the 5k and the 7100 they have a different naming. If you really want to find it easy, signal view slash PC. So here it is, and I normally go into software just to make sure that I get all the latest if there's a new API, etc. And you can see that there is a signal view PC vector was released 20th of February. And I click this one and I you know ask you to do the same. And in here the, there is the information release notes. This is probably where I spend most of my time. So in my previous video, I uh, was looking at, you know, the EMC view, which is in here. There's also some new stuff here related to the RSA 7100 and 500. We have a fast frame acquisition, MIDAS format, and we are on the uh, USB spectrum analysis with the GPS input, we can now trigger an absolute time, which is something. And there's bug fixes, known issues, etc. And you can go back here and look at all the things that we did. You know, and this is a very good documentation. I know people, you know, use this a lot. Okay, I hope you, you know, like this why to find where to download it. The second one is how you record. So I will do a recording here. I will put the 2.44 gig, which is a VLAN band in my office. I will set the refer refer down a little bit like this. And we go into this bottom over here, which is the recording. And from here, I have the location where I want to place the file. I have the base fail lamp called data, whatever. And here you can select, there is, you know, MIDAS. If you're government, you know this, there's a rule, but formatted is the one I'm going to use. Then we go to recording, you record now, files per run. I can do multiple files per run, or I can just do one. I will only do one, and I would do it for, let's say, three seconds. I think good, good enough. So I press start, and this will now recording. And it says down here, recording to file. Yeah, of course, it's a worn out part. You know. When it's done, after three seconds, what you do is you go to the playback time, playback, and you press stop. Then you go into, uh, hopefully, the latest file, which is this one, and you open this one. It will deconnect the instrument. So I press play here. It will deconnect the instrument and connect to the virtual path of the, the recorded file. And when that's done, in principle, if you have students in the lab or something, if you share this file, it will actually feel like it has the, you know, it's connected instrument. So in here, I can do everything you want to do with DPX or spectrogram and time overview, or whatever you want to do. So everything works seamlessly, like it was a real machine in the other end, but it's a recorded file. I think this is a very useful thing for, for people. And also, if people want to get a better feeling for you know, what's inside the signal, what's not inside the signal, etc. And this is just a three second repeating, whatever, you know. And Another question I get is, okay, we have this one, I'm going to stop this one, my PC, I'm going to close this one. Uh, can you change uh, a resolution bandwidth? Of course, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's data only. Can I change the resolution bandwidth? Yes, I can. I can have different resolutions. So this is a tricky one. And this one I have 5K and this one 50K. How many spectrum analyzers can do that? Not very many. If you have any other uh, requests for a video, very short, drop me an email at frederick.nordwall at tech.com and I will make sure that I will try to do it. Stay tuned, there are still some secrets to be revealed. Thank you very much.